Today I've got the scoop. Oh yeah, I accidentally watched a little bit of this on my YouTube feed. My bad chat. All right, let's let's get it. Disney exposed EA forced to cancel Star Wars games. Okay. The real reason EA. Disney's like, yo, we just bought a ton of stock in Fortnite, my boy. Have fun. Yo, close that studio. We smoking on that fucking EA pack. Switchblade! I'm sorry, King. I didn't notice you. Okay, dude. I, the fucking chat was getting fucking clogged up by XYZ dick size and fucking the song thing not fucking working. A canceled the Mandalorian game, among many other... <laughs> Greenish, hope you got popcorn. Chris is about to do a three-hour podcast about being a Discord mod. <laughs> that they're about to cancel as well and you know what the fault doesn't fall on ea today i've got the scoop holy I've shit got the information from behind the scenes this is from a very very trustable source that I i've have. watched a shit ton of star wars theory right i feel like uh, i'm just gonna be honest here i feel like there's been a couple of times i've been like the fuck are you on bro in some of his videos but a lot of the times i feel like he has good takes but yeah have that works yeah no man learning game what the fuck well, with ea I'm not, Switchblade, I'm amazing, bro. I cannot complain. I'm not going to name names, obviously, to keep them extremely private and anonymous. However, this is someone <laughs> that I've known for many years, and you can either trust me or don't. But I'll never lie to you guys. So, Dude, yes, sure. Star Wars Theory? I don't know who they remind me. Oh, Ninja. They've just been doing this shit so long. I've been jaded and fucked up, by, or like fucked over by so many people. They're just like, just like, yeah, what's up? Yeah, so. I got some really depressing news, uh, actually, that I just dropped. So, like, check it out, though. <laughs> Yesterday was a complete shock they say this was a few days ago they sent it to me however i was waiting until i could get uh approval from them and permission that i could tell the story ea execs came in the morning i can't tell if my boy's headphones are like really good like studio headphones or if they're like 14 dollars on amazon i really can't tell and they ended up telling staff in the afternoon contractors were last to know so ea used to hold the exclusive licensing on a massive contract with disney lucasfilm when it ran out all new licensing that would be issued by disney lucasfilm would ask for 22 percent of profits which is already quite steep but it was manageable and ea could still be happy with their slice of the money pie publishing gets a slice and developers get a slice and ea owns respawn so they get an even bigger slice Bob Iger announced that all yet-to-be-released games would see an increase of 11% to the previously negotiated 22% from the contracts and new contracts to come in. So, previous ones and new ones. Previous ones that were already established. And Epic Games would be the only one to have a 0% licensing fee. This is the one where Disney just put in, I think, over like a billion dollars into Epic Games. So Epic Games doesn't have to pay anything to Disney. Yeah, well, because Disney's basically just trying to boost them. Disney's just trying to boost them right now. They're trying to be like, yo, we got a shit ton of money in you. So any way that we can help your, your business side, help you grow your brand is good for us. Which is kind of crazy that they did that now. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know, really, unless Epic Games starts to get a piece of the pie of Steam. Like, really? Like, seriously, like they do? I don't really know how they grow any bigger. I don't really know. I mean, Star Wars, yeah, but they're basically, they put a billion dollars in there just for them to have their IP. Like, if I'm Epic Games, I'm like, <laughs> we just got them, boys. We just fucking got them, boys. We just got a Billy for free and Star Wars? Oh, shit. We got to give them 0%? Ah, oh, we got them, boys. I'm dapping everyone up in the office. You get a raise. You get a raise. You get a raise. You get a raise. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, can this man put it into funny Among Us booby terms? And so you can you can kind of think here, and there's much more. You can kind of think, okay, well, what's in it for Disney? Why would they want, why would they give Epic Games this sort of, you know, free pass while everyone else has to go on rations? And oh, Josh, to sum it up, basically, EA, I guess, didn't have to give them 22% for a while there. Now the EA... CEO or whatever is trying to negotiate it down to 18% on all current and previous projects that are supposed to be, or all future and previous projects that are supposed to be, or sorry, 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 all future and current projects that are supposed to be put out through EA. So take it down 4%. Uh, since they lost that and they don't want to fucking give up that amount of money. But Epic, if they make any Star Wars games or any Star Wars content, Ha has to pay zero percent to Disney, even though Disney is like, EA, give us fucking twenty two percent. They're like, oh, Epic Games, you go ahead. We gave you a billion dollars. You go right ahead. 
dude, isn't it crazy that people in this world have billion in spending cash for random shit? Meanwhile, I'm like, mother, may you spare a french fry? <laughs> please, Twitch. <laughs> could I please have $3 for every sub so that I can pay for my gas, please? <laughs> Didn't Respawn get a chance at Star Wars? Then they got the rights taken away? I'm not sure. Real Engine. They want access to Unreal Engine with Epic Games. Oh. I don't know if you heard, but Disney bought a huge chunk of Epic Games, not just because they want... Wait, 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 let me Epic rewind. Sorry, I was yapping. Want. You can kind of think here, and there's much more. You can kind of think, okay, well, what's in it for Disney? Why would they want... Why would oh, they want the engine. Disney wants the engine. Why would they give Epic Games this sort of, you know, free pass while everyone else has to go on rations? Unreal Engine. They want access to Unreal Engine with Epic Games. Yeah, okay. I don't know if you heard, yeah. but Disney bought a huge chunk of Epic Games, not just because they want free use of the Unreal Engine, which they use for not just gaming, but CGI renders in films several months ago. So they want it for movies and games. So that means Bob Iger, since he cannot se sever negotiated deals without penalties, right? So Unreal Engine is free. They dumb as hell. <laughs> Nah, that's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, Twitch, please, could I just have to? I don't, I don't even need the 6040. Just can I get like somewhere around like, or wait, what was it, 7030? I, I just, just give me like 5545, please, like something like that. So I fucking, you know, please, can I just have that? Mm, best we can do is uh, 10 new emote slots, buddy. So take it or leave it. Okay, I guess I'll take it. Uh, yeah. So they have contracts. They can't be like, hey, well, you know, Disney just walks off for no reason. Well, then they're going to have to pay up big time because they're essentially breaching contract. So what they're doing, and Bob's smart, he's an extremely smart businessman. It's like, okay, well, you know what? We're going to increase our, our percentage that we want money, and we're going to let you figure it out. And so EA says, well, hey, yo, I, I can't. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to give you guys, you know, 30. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. Bob Iger wants more money from EA, not EA CEO wants more money from Disney. Sorry, I mixed up the dudes in my head. My bad. Four per thirty-three percent of the cut of the like. No, that's too much. Come on, what are they gonna do? They're gonna back out of the deal and they're gonna have to pay the penalties. So that means Bob Iger, since he cannot sever negotiated deals without penalties, up the fees he'd collect from any studios using his IP, any Disney IP, including Lucasfilm. So that they cut deals and pay penalties and not Disney. So that means that possibly any and all video games with the Star Wars license will have to pay through the nose. Most younger studios, not the EAs or the Epic Games or the Ubisofts. Oh, this is not looking good for Aspire. This is not looking good for Aspire right now. Uh-uh. Ooh. May end up having to cancel those negotiated deals because they won't have the money to finish it and not make any money from it. Damn, what's up, bro? My day was pretty great, bro. How's work going so far? For example, Star Wars Eclipse, the Kotor remake, etc. EA opted to keep the sure thing in Star Wars Jedi series, but I can imagine we'll be seeing a sunset to Battlefront 1 and 2. The only Star Wars which Disney Lucasfilm has no more licensing to collect on is Star Wars The Old Republic MMO, which was sent off to Broadsword Studios, an EA studio. EA owns that game as part of their completion to the exclusivity deal they had long before. So that is what is really going on, they say. And I think all Star Wars games are at risk. So this is a really brilliant move from Bob. I mean, you know, if you want to get out of a contract, uh, make them break up with you, you know? If you want to get out of a relationship and you don't want to be the one to break up, be so horrible or do something that makes them just want to break up with you and leave you. And that's essentially what Bob is doing because he can't get out of the contract and just say, hey, you know, we, we don't want to do this anymore. Things are signed, you know, uh, contracts have been probably partially paid or paid and um, he can't just leave, right? So there probably is like a exit clause of some sorts. And I mean, Disney's one of the most powerful, one of, not the most, one of the most powerful companies in the world, yeah. the companies in the world. And uh, they have lawyers that, you know, could pretty much figure anything out. So I'm sure that Bob always has an exit strategy if he needs to. And I'm sure his lawyers always probably uh, protect him in that sense. Random question. Why the fuck is Star Wars series shooting in 4-3? Why the fuck is he shooting in 4-3 with his green screen like this? You guys see these? 
You see these marks right here? Where he's cut off? Look at the fucking... My, why is he shooting 4-3? Fuck. Oh, fuck it. You got 3 million subscribers. We need to work here, my boy. Where he has a way out. So... I mean, uh, I mean, men in ten, dude. Uh, I'm sure that'd be sick. I don't really know what those are. I still haven't looked. If you said you sent them in the Discord, but uh, yeah, dude. In why would Bob do this? Why would Disney do this? You know, and and listen, I'm not gonna say this is a hundred percent ironclad true. I trust this person. I've known this person for many, 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 many years on the channel. They have been extremely loyal. They're legit. So I have no reason to believe otherwise. That being said, you know, I, I can't legally say this is 100% factual. This is just what they're telling me. This is uh, my opinion. I, I believe them. So what I think is going on here is that Bob... This dude is reminding me a lot of one of my ex's dads. Dad. <laughs> ...wants to pull out completely from all of these games because he's planning something pretty huge with Epic. Something with their... Dude, it's crazy how big YouTube is because I'll find him over with... 10 to 20 million subs that I never fucking heard of. Dad's the liberal strike back. Whole Fortnite shebang that they're doing, as well as he wants Unreal Engine for the movies and stuff like that. Now, they go on to say, I think, this is my speculation by looking at the things being done from the inside. Bob wants to shut down Disney Plus and move things into Hulu, which is doing fabulously. Yo, what's up, Emerald? How goes it, family? Which is why he pushed for Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni to do The Mandalorian as a film oh. instead of a fourth season. That was all Bob Iger, and it was rushed. I mean, we've oh. known for a while that there would be a culminating film to close Mando, but it was supposed to be after five seasons that had been Bob Chapek's plan. He also chose to put Marvel's, and I think it was actually six seasons. John Favreau said there's six seasons of The Mandalorian that uh, he wants to make. He also chose to put Marvel's Echo, which sucked in both Disney Plus and on Hulu. So that shift is happening. I don't think that's a bad idea, to be honest. And the whole thing to buy Epic Games was really about the Unreal Engine they use. Ex yeah, the next time somebody tells me that I talk fast or something, I'm going to be like, yo, all right, we're going to watch Star Wars Theory for an hour, okay? You tell me if I fucking talk too fast. Fuck you. Extensively in all aspects. So they're rushing shit and removing any ability for us to tell a story. Yes. Yes. As Disney does. Again, the Assassin's Creed Theory. <laughs> Sorry, not the Assassin's Creed theory. The Call of Duty theory. Quantity over quality. Because there's dumb fucks that'll consume it. Uh, no, sorry, let me do you one better. The EA Madden theory. These motherfuckers will buy it, so fuck it, we'll just keep doing it. These motherfuckers will keep fucking buying our Disney subscription services, so we'll fucking keep doing it, dude. Here, have this absolute shit. Even though we literally could hire the most talented people in the world and make this shit amazing. Here, here's this shit. Or Disney got their hands on it. Wait, what's just Star Wars? Rushing shit? Dude just cares about money, and he took away a really popular ride I like at the parks. Yo, what the fuck? And Bob's like, okay, how can I funnel all game dev to Epic where we have full control over everything now? Games and movies. So his answer was increase license trilogy? fees and widen the cut of that pie to his favor basically edging out profits from all over game dev companies currently doing anything Disney related. It's not just Star Wars. So how do I know what's charging? Um it should light up red. Also W Chucky. W. It's Marvel, you know, any of the other IPs, Pixar I suppose, everything. Um brilliant business move from Bob Iger, extremely callous, extremely I'm not a fan, you know. I was gonna say, yo, stop sucking his dick. I feel like I'm watching a fucking like entrepreneur bro on TikTok being like, this is an extremely smart and brilliant move by Elon Musk. Yo, shut up, okay? Stop writing his dick, bro. His shit raw as fuck right now. Call this dude a piece of shit. Call it like it is. He could solve world hunger. He's a piece of shit, okay? <laughs> like, when is shit gonna collapse? When is it gonna end where we get back to making things for people and enjoying them and telling stories? I'm tired. God, it... Got it, me again. Can we please get this rapture stuff started? Well, see, I would answer that by saying <clears throat> it's about the. It's, it's, oh. This might just be because I um. Good morning, everybody. Cam, thank you for the bread. Appreciate you. Um, it might be from like my DIY whatever roots, but like you go find 
you go find the indie game, you go find the independent artist, you go find the small uh, movie studio, like where it is literally just people doing out a passion that genuinely care about making good things that people will enjoy. It, these juggernaut companies are never going to give a fuck about what is the best creative, you know, what is the best thing they can create that is most enjoyable. They're only going to give a fuck about what makes them the most money, and that will always be quantity over quality. Almost always. <clears throat> Especially for a big name like Star Wars, like, they're going to run it dry every way that they can. But it's going to be so long before they run it dry because there's going to be so many people that do not, like, like it's going to take them a while to be they finally be like, well, I'm done. I'm done consuming this shit. Wait, what? What else? Three ways to make money. Number one, spit on it and ride it. Bob's cock. What? Uh, just don't stay the same over there. Like a bunch of animators just got laid off because of budget cuts. Oh, yeah. Lame. Uh, I'm gonna start. Oh, it's not lighting up. It's broke. Uh, I'll take a look at it after stream. Star Wars fan, you know they're they're shutting down uh, a lot of the games that we were looking forward to. I mean, this is... That's fair, Greenish. Eventually, why? I'm going to be honest with you, Greenish. That's, like, fair, bro. Not to be on the, like, ooh, late-form capitalism is dog shit, you know, train that a lot of people are on, you know what I'm saying? But, like, yeah, this shit is kind of dog shit. I'm not going to lie. It's easy to feel jaded, <laughs> okay? It's easy to feel jaded on this shit. And people can, like, be like, oh, what the fuck are you doing bringing, like, that, like, whatever into this? But, like, this is just, like, like straight up just, like, capitalism, late-form capitalism. To the finest, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally, like, oh, we literally have a huge market share, and we're going to abuse the shit out of it now. We literally own all the rights to this thing, so we're just going to pump out a bunch of dog shit with this thing's name on it in this universe so that you guys consume it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Do I become an independent artist? When, when I became an independent artist, I was like, oh, shit, yeah, this is hard job that I'm not getting paid for. Like, if I didn't enjoy it and wanted to, wanted this to work, then I would have gave up before I even started. That's real. I mean, it is, but what can you do? He looks stoned. He does kind of look stoned. It's totally not like Disney has enough money to just save their studio. Wait, where was Dozen supposed to go there? We spent the last century just scooping up IPs. Now you're going to enjoy it or you'll have nothing to watch. Yeah, literally, dude. Literally. Why there's been so many um, announcements and then <laughs> foreclosures and cancels, uh, cancelments of the games that we got announced. You know, Eclipse, man. That was... I am still so excited for that game. And it's... <laughs> Late stage capitalism is the reason I'm not reincarnating here. Sorry, everyone. Leaving my planet... Yelp review, 0 10 this planet ain't it. Don't come here. You'll just suffer and they don't ha even have dinosaurs. Dude, they, we ain't even got cool shit like fucking dinosaurs. We ain't got lightsabers. We ain't got fucking shit that goes as fast as fucking speed of light. We ain't got time machines. We ain't got shit, dude. There ain't fun shit here. Best we got is that fucking Bigfoot footage, dude. That's the best thing that we have on this planet, bro. I don't want that, dude. Yeah, reincarnate me on another, reincarnated me on fucking another planet way out there, dude. Give me like four eyes and shit, and like two penises, dude. I don't want to be here no more. It's from one of my favorite companies, gaming companies, Quantic Dreams. And they made one of my favorite games, which is Detroit Become Human. They also made Purple Rain, which I've. Yo, this guy gets it. This guy gets it. Never finished, but it's also a good game. They make good games. So, you know, that's a game I was really hoping to see. And so was the Mandalorian game. They were supposed to make one? Yo. Nah, I was about to say some shit that Slime said that got him banned. Uh-uh. Hold on, let me rewind here so I can hear, get the full story. Sorry, I've been talking to chat so much and yapping about shit. Quantic Dreams. And they made... It's from one of my... Eclipse, man. That was... I am still so excited for that game. And it's from one of my favorite companies, gaming companies... Quantic Dreams, and they made Wait, one of is my it favorite still games, out? Detroit Become Human. They also made Purple Rain, which I've never finished, but it's also a good game. They make good games. So, you know, that's a game I was really hoping to see, and so was the Mandalorian game. But it seems now that that's out of the picture. Eclipse, I don't know what's happening with that. 
the first person shooter, who knows, the strategy games, who knows. You know, and 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 then they're making the uh the one that's coming out in the fall now, which also got pushed back. It was supposed to come out in March this month, but it got pushed back. The um Star Wars Outlaws, which honestly doesn't look too exciting. There's a few features that look okay, like, you know, jumping into space and all that in your ship. It doesn't really look all that great. I don't really care for it. I was hoping for something else. Star Wars Eclipse or, you know, um, KOTOR Remake, Remaster, Remake. Or, um, you know, a Mando game. Something a little fresh and exciting and new. Wait, is Star Wars Eclipse still coming out? Somebody remind me to look this up. I hope Star Wars Jedi Survivor Jedi 3 is still going to be made. At this point, we don't know. You know, they he wanted to get out. and he's Dude, if Star Wars Jedi Survivor 3 doesn't come out, I'm going to be convinced that there is a fucking curse on Star Wars games coming out in as as a trio, as like a, th- a three-part series, dude. I'm going to be convinced. Successfully has done that. However, we don't know the future of any Star Wars games going forwards, and that's unfortunate. But we do know that he has said he wants to really focus on games. So there must be something up his sleeve that... He- hasn't been announced yet and I'm sure it will be however right now it just looks kind of shitty because it's like well you know games are just getting cancelled and announced and then cancelled and announced and it's just not looking good it's not looking promising like you know what do we have to really rely on here nothing so I personally I'm gonna wait I'm gonna see what happens you know we might get something super amazing announced we might not uh as for Disney Plus closing, I don't know if I believe that. I think they're making a lot of money with Disney Plus, but yeah. merging it with Hulu also does make sense. So, you know, why have two streaming services when you could just have one? Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Like, the only time I've ever played for, paid for Disney Plus was to watch The Mandalorian. This is the only time I've ever paid for it. I watched it, canceled it immediately. And put them all together. I don't know. I, I guess we'll wait and see, but... That essentially is the answer, and I wanted to clear that up because I, and a lot of people, thought that it was EA. And look, same. it still might be. Yeah. But at the end of the day, this does make a lot of sense, and if you kind of tie up the pieces and add them up, it, it kind of all falls into place. So, That's real, Emerald. I don't know what to think, really, but this is some interesting information. It's something for you to think and chew on, and I guess we'll see going forward. So... I think we should remain calm, be chill, and we'll wait and see what happens. It could be amazing. We could get some really amazing titles announced. Maybe he's pulling all the funding. He wants to get out of EA. That's real greenish. I'm not a fan of EA. I think they they shit all over Star Wars. (laughs) Yeah, dude. They kind of laid an egg, dude. I'm not going to lie. Respawn is the only reason. (laughs) Is the only reason. I mean, I did... after, After like a year of both the Star Wars Battlefront games being out, I was like... Okay. Yeah. Okay. These are good. These are good. I I like them. Not worth sixty dollars. They aren't. They don't compare to the old Star Wars Battlefront games. But I like them. I play them a little bit. I probably have like maybe like forty hours in each of them. Um. But yeah, the re- respawn was really the only fucking good thing that came out of EA that I can be like, yes, this is amazing. Look, this man looks like he'd best his wife in a duel. In a duel, in a game of checkers, maybe. What do you What do you mean by this, Elo? E O. Really great. This man looks like he'd beat his wife. No, he's not a cop. I mean, he kind of looks like one, but no. Job at all. So, <laughs> Chat, I, you guys are all being really mean to this guy, dude. What did he do? <laughs> personally, want to see the exclusivity vanish, and you know, any capable gaming company to take the reins. My bad, Chat. Here, let me let me get it so you guys can understand it on a Star Wars IP, and that would be pretty fantastic to see what they come up with, because, you know, each one has their own specific taste and feel, so I would love to, to see that. However, as for EA, eat rocks, man. You guys didn't do a great job anyways. The only thing you got going for you is Respawn, and that's not even you guys, so uh, whoever's handling EA ain't done a good job. So. <laughs> we'll see what happens like going that? forwards. Not sure what's going to go on, but... Oh my uh, god, I just realized he got a look... He, wait, it's like balls on his chin. Yo, guys, you guys are mean, dude. What if I upload this to my other channel and this dude watches this, huh? You're going to make him cry. And I'm hopeful. That's uh, the main thing that I can, I can leave you with. Hope. Hope you have a great day. Right now, he talks at about the same speed that I do. Let me know what you think. And he's at 1.5 speed. About all of this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you always. All right, let me put this back at normal so I don't forget to do it. Yeah, uh, hold on. Let me look this up. Eclipse. Is it still coming out? Star Wars Eclipse.
canceled. Star Wars Eclipse developer says is still alive and simmering once again. The team working on Star Wars Eclipse would like to re remind us that despite it being very far off from the sound of things, the title is not canceled. Okay, good. Wait. Seven months ago. Uh, it's still years away. Okay. Well, I mean, it's from a while ago, but I feel like somebody would have said something by now. Right? Star Wars doesn't have a release date or even a... Okay, release the window yet? In fact, we might not learn more details about... Okay, so it's still probably happening. It's still probably happening. All right, cool. Cool. Yeah, no, that's that's huge. I didn't realize that Quantum was the one working on this because I had heard Star Wars Eclipse. didn't realize that was them. Um. All right, well, I'm going to be honest. We'll see what our boy Ben Iger here has fucking up his sleeve with Epic Games, but... Right now, I'm not feeling real good, man. <laughs> this motherfucker made me feel bad for EA. Didn't make me feel bad. Okay, sorry. I feel like EA's getting screwed over. Maybe it's a good taste of their own fucking medicine, though. But yeah, man. I mean, I'm still hopeful overall for Star Wars games. I think they're going to figure it out at some point because it's way too much money. I don't think it'll, like, I don't think we're ever going to get, like, a new golden era of Star Wars games. I think that's far gone and past, you know. Go from, like, 95 to, like, to, like 2010. Meow. And there's, yo, what's up, Phoenix? There's probably your, like, golden age of Star Wars games. That's that's never going to happen again, you know? Or maybe, like, 2008. When 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 did The Force Unleashed come out? Like, right around that time. And there it was. That was the end of it. Um, but, yeah, dude. I think they'll get at least something, like, fun Star Wars games, man.